Hey boo, hey, welcome to another pick a card with me, the Duchess. So look, we are asking that age old question, are we getting back together? Are y'all getting back together, boo? Because I know I've had a couple of back and forths and it's like, you know, sometimes your heartstrings be pulling you right back to that same soul, you know. So we gonna find out here if you and the person on your mind, on your heart, in your soul is you know, getting back together. Are y'all coming back together? Is there an opportunity here for this romance to reblossom and flourish? We are about to find out all the good and juicy details. So go ahead and tap into your intuition. Yes, yes, you boo. Yes, you. Tap in and choose the image that's calling out to you most. You can choose from image number one, image number two, or image number three, and then go over to your timestamp. And let's watch the video, boo. Let's get, get, get it. Hey, pile one. All right, boo. So we are about to find out here if y'all are about to get back together. Pile one, I'm ready to get into the details because me, I'm nosy. And, you know, you never know. Let's see. Spirit, give us insight here for pile one. Are they getting back together with the person on their heart and mind? Are they getting back together? Okay, so they showing you actually waiting for this person or they are on the horizon. It's like you are ready for them. You ready to um, see what this person is offering. I almost feel like you're like, okay, well, what are they coming with? I hope it's something good. Uh, let's see here. Are they getting back together? Pile one. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. I feel like Spirit is saying you can expect. <laughs> you can expect. Yep, yep, yep. Here we got a page of wands. There's gonna be some sort of communication that definitely happens with this person here. It's like I feel like Spirit is saying you have foresight, like you already know in your heart and soul that y'all supposed to be getting back together, like you can feel it, but it's also something that you really want as well. But it's also like allowing things to unfold there's an allowing energy here in pile one tell us more here are they getting back together pile one see here it's like spirit is saying that you're in this place where you're allowing like things to happen you're not trying to take full control here and you're leaving the pages blank here to let this person see what they coming with here. What is they offering? Because I feel like y'all, the energy is you ready to get back together, but it's only if they come in with the right thing. It's like, okay, what are you going to fill these blank pages with? Because you better be coming with something like I'm ready for a full wish fulfillment. I'm not ready for no nonsense. Okay, let's see what's going on with this person. Is this person here? ready for this are they ready to come back together yes they are hell to the yes this person is ready to come back together with you look at this two of cups look at this look at this this person is ready to wine and dine they ready to grin all up in your face okay they ready to toast to a new start a fresh beginning they ready to hold hands they ready to indulge in some romance all of that yeah i feel like this person is just ready to really make things happen like they looking at you like you are a whole um snack like you are everything like you are they prize you are they pride and joy okay so this person definitely wants to get back together what steps now is this person going to be taking because it seems like pile one has requirements what steps is this person going to be taking here to get back together now okay they're definitely going to be trying to create some magic here i feel like this person's manifesting within you can see here though with this manifesting it's like she's prepping the table but she ain't let she has not lit these candles yet so i feel like this person right now is preparing because they know that they have to come with it and so they're trying to decide here, what is it that they need to do to reap the harvest of this relationship, to reap the harvest of this connection? They like, well, I do want pile one back. I want to, you know, taste this apple. But at the same time, I feel there's things that I'm probably going to need to do or step up in certain ways. Let's talk about pile one here. Are they getting back together? Give us more information. Yeah, see, this person is really, really missing you. They're missing this sense of intimacy, this sense of closeness, this sense of like companionship. This person feels bad that they allow their heart blockages here. I love the way that just popped right over. They feel bad that they let their heart blockages get in the way. 
in the way of them fulfilling what y'all both want. Because this person can play like, you know, y'all don't want the same things, but y'all both want it. So why are they even playing? I don't get this person. Like, get it together, buddy. Get it together. So, yes, this person is really yearning for this sense of deep connection with you. They want this intimacy. They want this closeness with you. Yeah, see, they coming with the long-term goals this time. This person is realizing that you represent what they want for the long term. And it's, I'm hearing you saying, like, it's about damn time. Like, how long is it going to take you to realize, baby? How long is it going to take you? But this person is coming to these realizations here that you represent the long-term goals that they have in their life that they see you as their partner they see you as the one by their side holding their hand and at the bottom look at this my bottom of my deck be speaking it be preaching baby this person's ready to renew the love between y'all okay they are ready to renew this love they are ready to renew this connection they are ready to get closer to you they are ready to experience a new um start with you Okay, and, and this consists of a lot of romance. And I feel like this person wants to have a lot of pillow talk with you. Like, I keep getting deep conversation, opening up, expressions. Yeah, see, this person's ready to commit. <laughs> I'm loving this pile one. This person is ready to commit. So, whatever that means for your connection, that could be, you know, taking it from a situation to something serious. This could be taking it from something serious to moving in. This could be taking it from moving in to getting married. Whatever your situation is, getting engaged, whatever, okay? This person is ready to commit and open themselves up to the long haul because they sick of being lonely without you. Okay. This person is sick of fighting their own feelings. They sick of their heart blockages. They like, you know what? Maybe I should just give in. Maybe I should just succumb and stop fighting what I already know needs to happen because they miss you, baby. Okay. What's going on? Are they getting back together? Give us another hint from this deck again. See, it was at the bottom of the deck. I kept it in there and it came right back out. This is confirmation from spirit. We know that we know that we know. Okay, we now know that we know that we know a thousand million percent that this person ready to get back together. It's clear as day. How many times they gonna tell us they ready to renew the love? See, they ready to open communication. Didn't I say this person wants to talk and talk and talk? They want to have those long, intimate talks. Like they want to get to the nitty gritty. So if this person has been avoiding of communication in the past, if this has been someone that just hasn't been talking about their feelings, they've been acting stubborn, you know, they've been ghosting and not wanting to talk about certain things. They learned that that ain't paying, that that has not paid because y'all ain't together. So they learned in here that maybe I need to learn how to communicate. Maybe I need to speak up when it comes to pile one because I need them in my life. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards, baby. Tell us pile one, getting back together. Give us insight. Are they getting back together? And we got here table half full. See, this person is wishing for you. Again, this is just like this nine of cups wish fulfillment, right? This person is wishing to have you back so bad because they feel like their table is half full without you. They like, where is my other half? Where is my boo? Where is my baby? They feeling unfulfilled without you. They feeling lack in their life. So they wishing for you above anything else. Tell us more here. Oh, 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 that flew right out. Okay, this person feels like... <laughs> This distance has been killing them. They know that you have turned away or that they've turned away, that y'all have really been on this energy of self-focus, but it's like this self-focus has left them feeling lack. So it's like, yeah, this self-focus is good, but what about my connection? What about my love? What about my relationship? Yes, this person here is ready to surprise you with something good. They're ready to be receptive. They're ready to come in with the gifts of communication, long-term goals, okay? Filling up this paper. You was wondering if they're going to fill it up. Yes, they know they better. They know they better come with something good because... <laughs> That's what you're waiting for. That's what you want to outlook for. You're not settling for less. I love this energy power one. You're not settling so you're getting what you deserve because you're not settling. This person knows they better come with it. They better come with something good. Tell us more here. Yes, <laughs> this person is lusting after you bad, baby. <laughs> They are lusting after you bad. They feel like they own you. Like, they very possessive. They're greedy for your love, okay? They need you. They like, you know what? I better step up because if I lose this person for good, I'm going to be sick. If this person moves on, I'm going to be sick because it's like my, my, my person, my baby, my pile one is now with somebody else. Like, this person can't handle it. They cannot handle it at all. Let's go ahead and pull a couple more cards, spirit. Pile one. Are they getting back together? Give us insight here. See, this person here 
feels like there just needed to be a little space, but they know that this means that the love is still there. Okay. They're like, there was space, but the love is still here. Like let there be closeness, but always give each other space and love never claims it allows and gives. So this person knows that the love is there. See romance. Cupid's arrow is striked. They've been striked by Cupid's arrow during this time of, of aloneness. Okay. During this time of space. And so they can truly feel all this love that they have for you because they missing you so bad. Yeah, see, they took a step back to focus on themselves. You took a step back. But again, look at this. Back to back. What came back? The romance. They took a step back. Be, and this is creating romance. So I know it's probably been frustrating. It's been a little hard taking this space. Let me know your story, boo. But this person here, they are ready to fill that gap. They ready to come together and make it work. They ready to make it do what it do. Okay. So what I got to say is let me know if this is your story, what's going on in your life. Please go ahead, like, comment, share all of that good stuff. Your support is appreciated and check out my website and all the goodies I'll offer down below. I'll be talking to you later, boo. Bye. Hey, pile two. Hey, boo. Hey. Okay, we're going to find out here. Are you and the person on your heart and mind destined to get back together? Are you getting back together? Pile two, are they getting back together with the person on their heart and mind? This card. Oh, we got a five of wands. So I feel like mm, there's this energy here where one of the two of you is really disappointed in the other. So this energy is really a factor in here is what Spirit is saying. Because of the level of disappointment, this affects you guys' this pathway when it comes to getting back together. Not to say that it's blocking it or anything, but there might be certain things that need to happen. Let's see what's going on, Spirit. What's going on with Pile 2? Are them and they person getting back together? Yeah, see, Spirit is saying you got to be creative here. And not to say you, but the situation is requiring some creativity. Because I feel like you are waiting to get back together with this person. But at the same time, there needs to be more passion here on their end. Yeah, it's like you are ready to get back together. But at the same time, it's like you really feel like this person has done something wrong or offended you in certain ways. So there's this little energy of scolding. So it's like at the same time, you're like, yeah, I would like to get back together, but I'm ready to see what you're coming up with. Like, are you coming passionately or you coming with something that, you know, I can enjoy? What are you coming with? Yeah, it's like right now, I feel like you're very daydreamy about this situation. But at the same time, you're like... It's like you got these two separate energies. Mm, well, you kind of get on my nerves. Like you kind of offended me and driving me crazy. But at the same time, I would kind of like to get back together. But let's see what's up with this person. Does this person plan on getting back together with Pile 2? What's their energy here? So we got a King of Swords. I feel like this person's still very much analyzing the situation. Like they're analyzing this chart. This person's tr still trying to decide, do they want to get back together? And again, I feel like they're they're I feel like they're even maybe talking to somebody about it because the hair fund is about getting advice. And you can see she's trying to get some advice or some help with this list she got. I feel like this person's talking to someone about it and analyzing the situation with this person. Okay, so what kind of conclusions are they coming up to, Spirit? Oh, they coming up to, they trying to decide. They feel like you might be the one. Okay, this person, that's why they're overanalyzing because they're like Hmm, I really feel strongly about Pile 2. They could possibly be the one, but at the same time, I don't really know because I know I've really kind of messed things up. Okay, tell us more here, Pile 2. I'm intrigued. It's What's going on here? Getting back together? See, this person's trying to decide if there could be balance in y'all's connection. Like, they want to know what they can offer. Like, I feel like they feel like you've offered so much to them. And now they need to offer something. Yeah, see, this person does want to be with you, I feel like, for the long term. And so they're trying to figure out a plan for that. You see how this guy set up his garden and he's planting. He's got little, you know, um, what up, signs and things to labels. That's what I'm trying to say and all that. So it's like this person, I feel like, is planning because they're talking to someone. They're thinking about how you're genuinely the one. And so I feel like they're planning on what they're going to do next. Okay, Spirit, well, what do we think they're going to do next? What do we think they're going to do? 
Oh, see, they want to come together, honey. They definitely want to come together. I love this energy, okay? Because this temperance means they want to get along, but they also want to, like, date. They want to get on the same page. They want you guys to fill each other's cups. Look at how this guy is looking at her with admiration. She's so excited. You get what I'm saying? The table's overflowing. Like, this person wants to have something overflowing with you. They're definitely thinking about you, okay? And they're definitely... um really wanting to get back into your energy space and get back together so it's really up to you but let's see what else spirit give us insight for pile two are they getting back together see yeah this person wants to recommit this person wants to recommit they want to or they want to commit if they haven't been committing okay they want to be in this place where it's like you know what i really got them i really got them and they want to feel like if they commit here to this situation that you will commit back right but this person here they feel like their indecision has created problems their indecision so they're really focused on that and I feel like this person wants to come in only wholeheartedly, not half-heartedly. And so that's why they're assessing and they're waiting. But they're really feeling like you're the one. That you're the one to truly commit to, be with. But at the same time, they want to be a million percent. But they're again, like I said, because of their indecision, they regret it. They regret it. They over there feeling lonely and sad. And it's like, maybe I should have just dived right into that commitment. Maybe I should have just did exactly what... You know, I, I I was supposed to do. Maybe I shouldn't have resisted my feelings. Maybe I should have tried to bring this temperance a long time ago. So I feel like this person has a lot of regret right now. And so they're trying to figure all this out. Like there's a lot of things jumbled in their mind. But they do know one thing. They know that you represent everything they desire. You represent they wish fulfillment. You represent all that they want and all that they need in their life. So it's like they feel stupid. I heard I'm really feeling stupid. Like this person is like slapping themselves like... What have I been thinking being indecisive, playing these games? And so they're realizing here that you're everything they need and more. And so this is a major focus to them. And this is why they're planning and they're talking to someone. At the bottom of the deck, I love this here because I feel like this person knows that trust has been broken. They know that there has been issues. And so they're in this energy of like, okay, we need to rebuild trust. We need to establish trust. And so they know that in order to establish that, they need to come in with the right energy. So maybe that's why you have this gold in them. Maybe you've been letting them know, like, I don't have time for these games at the end of the day. Let's find out some more spirit. Pile two. Are they getting back together? Give us the insight. We got here comfort food. Yes, yes, yes. Reassurance, sympathy, solace. So this person here feels like you represent everything comforting to them. And so this person here is yearning for that comfort. They're yearning and desiring here the warmth that you bring into their lives. They they are desiring that level of solace that you bring into their lives. And so they're really missing that that connection here with you. Yeah, because they feel like, you know, y'all been retreating from each other and now they regretting this. For some of you, the person actually started avoiding you and retreating. And now they in regret about it. It's like, now you want to be in regret, but you wanted to ghost though. But you wanted to retreat. You wanted to go in another direction though. Okay, let me stop. But at the end of the day, this person knows they're feeling dumb for this. They are. Tell us more here. Yep, see, this person is really reflecting on y'all's connection a lot. They thinking real nostalgic. They thinking about all the good times y'all had. They thinking about all the laughs. I'm seeing like laughs and tickles for those of you who there was some sort of tickling or laughing involved here. I don't know. It's like really good fun. This person's thinking about how you really open up their inner child, like how y'all enjoy each other so much. And they're really thinking about how they fumbled the bag right now. Fall celebration. Yeah, this person wants to announce here some level of increased commitment or dedication to you and your connection and this is something that they feel is going to be very celebratory very romantic very happy yeah definitely so they feel like all the negativity has gone too far it is overgrown it has been too much and so they're now ready to actually go in another direction that brings positivity to the connection give us more spirit pile two getting back together what they need to know 
We got to close your eyes and tell yourself that you feel joy. You can allow joy into any circumstance, regardless of the situation. See, this person is feeling the joy here in y'all's connection. Like they closing their eyes and they remembering all the joyous times. And they're wanting to feel that. And they're realizing that maybe they deserve this. Maybe they should stop running from their own happiness. Maybe they should allow this joy to really come in and flourish in. Yeah. And so they want to stop being sitting there and being secret and acting like they don't have these deep feelings for commitment. They want to stop being secret. Come on, speak up, pile twos person. Speak up. Someone has deeper feelings than they let it on. They got the feelings, but it's like they've been playing these games. So now they know playing games has gotten them nowhere except for feeling regret. So they ready to speak up. Yep. So they're starting to feel and know that they are free to make this step forward towards you. And so I feel like they're going to be making this step forward towards you at some point, right? And Spirit is saying for you, it's okay to be patient and allow them to make this step because this person needs to sit in that regret. They need to understand that their own free will is what put them in that position in the first place. So now they're going to say, well, yeah, I got the free will to also fix this situation by stepping up to the plate and stop being avoided and stop hiding and stop playing all these games because pile two just ain't got time for it at all. Okay, I am loving this energy. Please let me know what's going on in your life. What is your story here? Pile two. Send me your love, light, and blessings. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and check out my website and goodies below. I'll be talking to you later, boo. Bye. Hey, pile three. Hey, boo. Hey, I am ready for this because pile one and two <laughs> was really good and juicy. So, Spirit, give us insight here for pile three. Are them and their person getting back together? Is pile three getting back together with their person? What is their energy? Pile three's energy. We got an ace of cups. So this means that your heart is ready and open to a new and fresh start with this person. Okay, so it looks like you are open for this. And since your heart space is open, it could really be calling in this person's energy. Let's see what's going on spirit yes the world okay this is i would say just straight from the beginning it looks like there's definitely energy here there's a magnetic attraction between y'all the energy is tied yes and they're saying that you're really in a place where you're opening yourself up and trusting and being ready here for what's to come when it comes to this connection so of all the piles your heart is the most open and ready to receive this connection right now okay what about this person what about their person are they ready to get back together see now this person is in a devil energy so this is where this pile was opposite from the other two piles honey because look i don't know what this is we gonna find out what's going on with this person why are they in the devil energy what is going on this person is very much in a place where they are lacking a sense of hope when it comes to this connection. This person's very nervous when it comes to this connection. And so it's like they really desire you really bad. They yearn for you. They want you. They desire you, right? But at the same time, it's like they lack a sense of hope. What's going on with this person's sense of hope? I mean, are they going to gain it back? Like, what's going on with this person? Are they ready to get back together? Okay, so this person is trying to... I feel like they're trying to spend time here living their lives so that they can balance out their energy. I feel like this person has a lot of stress on them or a lot of pressure. Yeah, they're trying to relax right now. That's what this person is focused on. They're trying to rebalance their energy here. And I feel like it's because they desire you so much that it's driving them a little bit crazy. Okay, so they're like, I really desire this person, but there's no hope. So this is driving me crazy. But here's the kicker. It's like this person here, I feel like their energy is saying when you take a break, there's going to be a reassessment. What happens after this person takes a break? How are they going to be viewing the connection with pile three? Yeah, see, at this point, I feel like this person is going to be more grounded and willing to have some sort of discussions or talks or wanting to discuss, discuss, ugh, discuss or hash out certain things. Yeah, it's like they want to bring your attention to certain things and vice versa. I feel like this person is just trying to relax or cool off or like, yeah, like rebalance their energy. So it's like you're ready, but at the same time, this person, because of their lack of hope, it's, yeah, I feel like this is somebody that gets pressured easily, stresses easily, worries easily. So then they need to unwind. Like, some, well, I need to go out with my friends tonight because I need to unwind. Or I need to, you know, binge watch TV or something. Like, this person needs to unwind. Okay, what do we see as far as them getting back together? 
So we got this 10 of cups. I feel like this person really does feel like you are someone that could be a long-term mate, okay? That there's long-term potential here. But at the same time, I feel like this person feels like there needs to be some sort of break here. And that's what they're taking this time to really kind of assess the connection during this break period. Um, but their heart is still very much connected to you. But at the same time, it's like they have a lot of negative thought processes, which block them from really like working from the heart space. Hmm. Do we see pile three getting back together? What's going on with this person? Pile three. Yeah, see, this person's in their ego. This is the problem. Same as that devil energy here, okay? This person does have this obsession for you, desire for you, like, in a sense, love for you. And at the bottom, reconciliation. Yeah, they're going to want to reconcile for sure. The problem is that when they come in, it's like this desire kind of messes things up because I feel like this person's not operating from their true heart space. So I feel like there could possibly still be issues in this connection, even when they come back around. Tell us more here about pile three, getting back together. Yeah. See, this person's going to be ready to recommit to you for sure. Okay. They're going to be ready to recommit to you or to, to open up doorways to advancement in this connection or, or something to that, to that, um, be to the drum okay they're ready to commit or something here yeah they want to spend a lot more quality time with you they want to build a deeper connection with you with this ego love though i feel like this person could be a bit selfish at times is the problem here and so it's like it kind of leaves you out in the cold or throws you under the bus at times because this person does desire you really bad they want to be with you but because their ego is so big it gets in the way. But yeah, they ready to renew love. They ready to renew love. They want this connection. But then look at the bottom, we got self-focus. So this is what I'm saying. This person wants to spend time, you know, partying and doing them and, and, and focus on unwinding. But they also still want to have a renewed connection with you. So I feel like this person may dive all in and try to enjoy the good connection. Right. But then as soon as they feel like they don't want to deal as soon as they feel like it's time for them to go in to do them and enjoy their life and da 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 da, that's what they're gonna do because this person is just a bit selfish. I hate to say it, pile three. Okay, this person's a bit selfish, but yes, they do want to get back together. So it's up to you, and I know your heart is open to it for the most part. So if your heart is open to it, I mean, you got to do you, boo. But just know your expectations need to be lowered. And know that this person can't love at the capacity that you can because they're in their ego where you more in your heart space. So that's two different things. OK, we got to keep it real in these connections in this relationship. Yeah, they're going to be back around. But this person's a bit <laughs> they're a bit in their ego. Sorry. Tell us more here. Tell us more here, spirit. Give us insight. Are they getting back together? Pile three. We got here that this person's ready to have a lot of fun with you. Again, this person feels like you represent a whirlwind, a good time, excitement, fun. Like this is the type of person that's all the way up there for the for the ups. They want to have a good time with you and all of that. But then it's like, I feel like this is the type of person when the going gets rough, though. Oh, I can't handle this. It. too stressful. Then they want to go hang out and relax on their own. Like, no, connections get stressful sometimes. Like you can't just dip out when you feel like it. Hard work, obstacles, problems. Yeah, see, this is the thing. This person don't wants to put the work in. That's the problem here. So this person wants you. There will be energy for a reconciliation. It's up to you. If you say yes, then there's definitely a reconciliation here. But this person is going to have a hard time putting in the work because they just don't know how to do that. Yeah, but they don't also like being lonely without you. Okay, they don't like being lonely without you. So this is where the ego comes in. It's like, well, I don't want to be lonely without them, but I also don't know how to give as much as I can. I don't know how to give like I should. I'm mostly into receiving. Again, this person wants your comfort, your warmth. They they feel familiar and good with you. And that's what they're thinking about as they charge in what they love offering. Yeah, they want some benefits. See, this is what I'm saying. This person is ready for a harvest here in this connection. They really want the benefit of you. They want the benefit of your love. They want the benefit of your comfort. They want the benefit of your touch. They want the benefit of your admiration, okay? Your, your loyalty. They want all of that. But like I said, this person's going to have a hard time matching your energy because they are in their ego too much. That's something they need to heal in order to truly match your energy. Spirit, give us insight here four pile three are they getting back together 
We got, oh, passion is ignited between y'all, baby. For some of y'all, y'all are actually twin flames, okay? For some of y'all, there may just be some twin flame energy in the air, meaning lots of passion, lots of fire, lots of desire, okay? Um, but the energy is between y'all. There's this passion ignited. This person's passionate about you. You're passionate about them. So... <laughs> That is what it is that lets it be known, the energy. But again, this is a connection where it's very lighthearted, playful. It's about a good time in this connection, okay? Laughter, fun, healing the connection with playfulness and just being lighthearted and flirty and enjoying the connection. That's what this person is going to be here for. If you're here for the same thing, then y'all going to be on the same page and everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. It's a time of you stepping into your power here and knowing what you want. And this person's power is going to be stepping towards you, right? But it's up to you to decide. Spirit is saying it's a time for you to be in your power and decide if this is right for you or not. Okay, it says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So this person is going to be invoking their powers to walk towards you. And then it's up to you to invoke your power. Is this something I want? Do I want this passion? Do I want this playfulness? Do I want to just kind of have a good time and enjoy? And then when times get hard, you know, I got to figure out things on my own. That's on you. Sorry, not sugarcoating it because I've been there. See, this person wants to have a good time, yo. <laughs> passion, desire. So, yes, this person wants to get back together. This reminds me of one of my exes here. It's like whenever it was time to get serious, nothing serious was popping off. But we was always having a good time. Trips, fun, laughing, joking, sitting up eating snacks, you know, watching binge, watching TV, all that. No. Uh-uh. Anyways, it's up to you. Let me know your story down in the comments. I am sending you love, light, blessings, all of that good stuff. Please check my description box below, my website, all the goodies I offer. And I'll be talking to you later, boo. Bye.